Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn. Oops, and I just opened the wrong save file. So this is the map I'm working on on my Twitch stream at the moment. We are creating a huge mega dam. Don't worry, it will probably be turned into a video at some point. But let's get back to our series. Ah oh, yes, here we are. The safety of our lovely, lovely area. So if you haven't watched this series before, basically this is where we've got to. We've got a pretty big city now. And we finally built a bridge, even though it's only a little one for now. You can see all of our little beavers beavering about. Look, there's so many of them. They're all like carrying barrels and planting carrots. It's it's a beautiful sight. But yes, let's let's take stock of where we are. So science points are pretty good. Basically, in the dry season, this is our seasonal job. So when like the river dries up and we stop pumping water, the water wheels stop moving. Everyone becomes a scientist. We get loads of science. So pretty happy with science. Uh, materials, we got quite a lot of gears. We got loads of metal blocks. Loads of planks, loads of scrap metal, so I, I, I'm pretty happy with everything there. Food, not too bad. I feel like we could always increase our food. Uh, logs, absolutely terrible. I think that could be the next thing to focus on. Oh, but oh no, look, Sonolco has died. Oh, Sonolco, I do apologize. And the other thing we need to look at is down here. This is our YouTube member area. Now they're sort of trying to become self-sufficient, so... They've got a few things they're going to be building, like the deep water pump, these breeding pods. Yeah, but essentially, I think we're just going to leave them to do their thing. Oh, yes, and I forgot we started building our super dam down here. So that's why we're going to need logs. So let's try and look at possible ways we can get our log on. So you can see down here, we got we got a forester. They replace the tree stumps with saplings. This is Duncan Brown. He's 44, but he's still working hard. Or is he hardly working? <gasps> oh my God, no. <laughs> Look, Montana Williams and Huckbear424 have died of old age. So he's Lagomorph. Lagomorph has died of old age. Yeah, but green root fruit has grown up. So look, he is now a hauler. He works at the hauling post and he's only six years old. He's young and full of life, raring to go. Now, we do need to be careful now. We're down to just 63 adults, which means a lot of our jobs are going to be missing people. So, yeah, you can see in here, sort of, not all the jobs are full up. The most important ones, farmhouse, that's full up. You know, the deep water pumps, they're full up. So, they're the, they're the sort of main jobs. So, I think we're okay for that. Uh, but we could do with these being a bit quicker, if I'm honest. Maybe we want to look at increasing that. Should we try and get more food first? I don't know. I'm I'm really tempted, actually. This might be really stupid, but to move the mega dam. Oh, no, that's a level high. It's a level higher, damn it. Okay, well, something I'm quite intrigued to do. I don't really know how it works. Water pump discharges water, but how does it get the water? That is what I want to know. So I can see, like, down here on the map, there's, like, this sort of... It looks like a dried out, like, waterfall. So if we could put a deep water pump up there and sort of make a river flow down. But I assume we need to supply the water pump, do we? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. God, look how many beavers are up. <laughs> there's literally so many. Right, I'm going to click on one if I can. All right, Peregrine. Let's see. How can we make you happier? Like, what are the effects of everything? So, barn increases walking speed. Nutrition is strength. Nutrition three is carrying speed. Work speed, work speed, work speed, work speed, work speed. Basically, everything just makes them work faster. But then there's ore three, which increases life expectancy by 40%. What is ore three? Is that one of these monuments? Yeah, ore three. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need 12,000 science points. So I think that's quite a late game thing. We'll probably leave that for now. All right, well, I'll tell you what then. We've got to look at chopping down some more trees. And I feel like the best way of doing that is going over onto this side. And the best way of doing that, I'm going to assume it's going to be a bridge. Now, we've only unlocked the 4x1 bridge, but uh, that spans the gap perfectly. All right, let's plonk that in. Prioritize the suspension bridge. I prioritize everything in this game. And then over this side, we're going to look at doing some steps. So we're going to want steps up there and then probably down there. And then we'll just, we'll just path in between. All right, sorted. And are these trees marked to be cut down? No, they're not. So we'll mark them up. So we just paint them in. Lovely. And then we've got a few beavers that have grown up and I think they are now builders. So as we prioritize this bridge, yeah, if you click on this guy, it's for breezy, and they've just brought a box over. And who's this? This is Lord Finish. He's only six years old, but uh, he's already building his first bridge. That is an inspiring career path. Uh, meanwhile, Mr. Forrester up here. So look, there's one, there's one little piece of land that hasn't been marked for trees. So let's make that a maple. There you go, Keld. Look, you got a job now. There you go. He's running over to there. <laughs> and now he's going to plant that. Oh, God. Is that what he's doing? Are you planting? He's definitely playing with wood. Let's put it that way. 
Right, I'm going to swap these pines with meeples as well. Just because meeples are way more economic. The trouble is, I'm going to have to do it like one by one as each one gets cut down. So, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. We can probably do this front strip as well. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. Load more trees. And to be honest, we should probably start planting trees down there. So if we get another forester hut, because I don't think these ones reach. No, they don't. If we go into wood, forester, we'll plonk you there. And we'll plant a load of maples in there. Nice, because wood, wood is the big issue at the moment. Though I'd like food to be a bit higher. I wonder if it's worth trying to replace some of these carrots with potatoes. We've got to keep the berry production going, because that's what fuels our new generation. Oh my god, there's so many beavers over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. So yeah, I reckon we'll try and spud some of this area up. So if we say... No, actually, let's not. Let's not. I don't want to ruin the equilibrium we've got. So yeah, you you'll stay as carrots. You'll stay as spuds. We've got more carrots over here. We can fill in the gaps now. Very nice. And these guys down here, they've nearly finished building that log pile. And once that's done, I think that's everything built. Oh no, there's two more breeding pods. Okay, but look, our first breeding pod is on the way. So that'll be our first YouTube member birth. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to really limit this side. They're sort of just there to... I don't know why... The, why, why have I... <laughs> Why have we expanded over this side? I know, the original reason was we were slacking on food big time. I was worried we were going to die. They were sort of here to, like, feed the Patreons. But, um, they seem to be coping. Oh, look, Christopher Walker has grown up. Nice. You are unemployed, so we need to give you a job. I feel like we should open the builder hut again. So let's unpause that. Chris, you're in there. You're a builder. Because we've got some stuff we want to build. We want to finish a bridge. We want to get our strongest shaped large warehouse. <laughs> Why did they pick that shape for it? Well, because it's efficient, I guess. And the other thing I'm really intrigued to try is the dynamite. We haven't even looked at dynamite yet. I was thinking it might be a way to sort of move some water about. So we're going to have our super dam built there, but I'm pretty sure I could probably dynamite down this way. Sort of make that like a river. I don't know. But still, that's quite a way off because where is dynamite? It's in wood. So we're going to need a paper mill. Turns logs into paper. And then an explosive factory, which turns paper into dynamite. So that's a thousand research on its own. That might be one for next time. For now, I feel like the super dam is priority. But in order to get the super dam, we've got to get, we've got to get some more wood. All right, so yeah, we, we're completely out of power. So these engines, they use, they use logs to create fuel. And at the moment, they've got zero logs. So I feel like we may as well just pause these. We don't need planks or gears at the moment. Let's just pause all of these. And now we've got four unemployed beavers. We're going to fill up the builder's hut. Joining Chris, we've got Mathis Van Dyke, Bob the Builder. Yes, Bob the Builder is a builder. And Hexwind. Uh, our hauling post. Let's up that then. People can be haulers. And oh no, oh no. So we've just been told the dry season is coming. I feel like we've got enough water. we got like 1,400 water. Food. All right, it's sort of going up. I think as potatoes are growing. Yeah, that's really helping. Okay, I think, I think we're fine actually. I think we're fine. And look, over this side, this is all grown now. So James Lee will pause you. And then <laughs> he just came over here to become a builder. We're going to pause the builders as well. All right, and now your farmers. We're going to reduce one farmer down. And then, yeah, Valentin, you are now a log pumper. Just so this side should be a bit more self-sufficient. They're creating their own water, harvesting carrots. They're all good. Uh, I, th I think we'll be fine, actually. There's, there's a lot of food going up now as everything's being harvested. Oh, look, can over here. The bridge is complete. It looks like they're building the steps over to this way. And then they'll start logging all of this. Oh, this is fantastic. Good work, guys. Look at them. <gasps> the dam. They're doing the dam. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's slow down. Slow down. Shit. Oh, God. Okay, we've got to be really careful here. I do not want to cause a flood. <laughs> oh, that's looking pretty close to flooding. All right, so this one I can raise and look. Oh, look how... On the fly, I can do that. So I've lowered that. So I'm letting water through. Am I letting too much water through? Oh god, it is pretty vicious. I think because I just let it through in like a big wave. There might be a sort of mini flood happening. Oh god, yeah, look down here. Look at the dam. It's proper overflowing. <laughs> oh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Holy crap, look at the water coming through though. I guess a proper torrent back there. That's so cool. Can they reach that? Oh yeah, they're building it from there. That hungry... Who's Who is the hungry guy? Hexwind... Although they are hungry, they were building from this corner. That's like, we really need some like safety railings up there. That's dangerous. But yeah, is that just the last? Oh yeah, it's being built. It's being built. All right, pause, pause, pause. Ooh. Right, the mega dam is sort of complete, it looks like. Sorry, not the mega dam. The super dam is complete. And what a feat of engineering this is. And it's just in time for the dry season. So my sort of aim here was to turn this up. So if we bring the height. Oh, they're linked. I'm so glad they're linked. Oh shit, do we have a leak? 
I think we got a leak. Right, we, we got a slight leak. We might we might have to fix that. <laughs> okay, so if we go into landscaping to fix our leak, I thought corners didn't leak for some reason, but uh, turns out they do. So we're basically just going to levy that to the top, plug her up basically. But uh, that's good. You can see we are filling that up. I probably don't want to flood those guys yet, actually. So yeah, let's lower that to two. Oh shit! So I just let loads of water. <laughs> Or maybe two and a half. I feel like two is a bit low. We'll do two and a half. <laughs> oh, I feel like, God, I'm like playing with water levels. So yeah, we just got to make sure these trees don't flood. The water's very turbulent now. <laughs> I think two and a half is the right level. Oh shit, that bridge just went underwater. Oh God, oh God, it's flooding down here. Guys, be careful. I know you're beavers, but be careful. Flood water is dangerous. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, what have I done? No, it's flooding. It is flooding. All right, is up here okay? Up here's okay. All right, I think I think that that is the right level. This bridge is now like <laughs> like a floating bridge. So yeah, I think two and a half is the max. Oh god, things are being flooded down it. How is there so much water suddenly? All right, that will fix itself, right? Or have I flooded the beavers? They're still building that corn. Maybe it's because the corn is spilling out as well. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? But yeah, the drought is incoming in 0.4 days. So this is our last glimpse of sunlight before we need to be careful. Oh no, look what's happening. Where they're building that up is pushing the water further. Thankfully, beavers can't drown, but I know that wood can. Let's just prioritize these. Let's just get them built. Let's get them built. Let's fast forward and see what happens. All right, it's nighttime. Nighttime flooding, dangerous. But uh, this is our last evening. All right, so the drought has started. There's now no more water coming from the source up here. Oh, but oh no, while I was fast forwarding, so many people died. So Jonathan Rama died of old age, so did Lester Marv, Papa Panda. Yeah, but then we had a new generation grow up. Yeah, then we had a birth, but then Tezquin died. All right, it turns out Tezquin died at home, surrounded by friends and family at the age of 77. You lived a good life, Tez. Uh, the beavers are appreciative for what you helped us achieve. Um, but anyway, we've got we've got our dry season to worry about now. So the plan here was this dam would be perfect for the dry season. So at the moment, we've got these raised up. So if we look behind, so you can see these are holding water back. And it should mean that this area up here will now stay green. And, oh, look, we've like filled it with greenness. So we could potentially plant up everything up here but yeah my sort of plan was as this water level drops if it does drop rather than keep like stopping pumping during the dry season we could slowly like lower these so if we do it now if we lower this by half you see it lets a load of water through this raises the level up down here meaning it doesn't go green but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it at two and a half for now and i'm just gonna lower that when this water like runs out a bit so the idea is we we just drip feed water through as we need it so hopefully we are self-sufficient and oh who's this then who's this the real architect has grown up all right i tell you what you need a job and you need a job that's right for an architect so on top of the knob i'm gonna build that we're gonna do two sets of stairs so you can get up to it then we're gonna watch this be built they're building it from the inside of the knob as well it's quite impressive there you go they're building from the outside as well so steps nearly done and now just the power wheel and right, now everyone is beavering away trying to build this they want to shame the architect and it will happen now look at them all these are real engineers lord finish the breezy bob the builder all right and hexwind is up there and it's completed right come here real civil architect you work at the hauling post so we're gonna sack you i'm trying to sack you but everyone else is getting sacked why aren't you getting sacked there you go no get out of there frostinks that's not for you <laughs> no and pim no frosting no there we go. Now the real architect is in the power wheel. All right, there you go. Shame, 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 shame. <laughs> now you're destined to work the wheel as punishment. And if any other people think it's funny joining as a top tier Patreon with a stupid name, this will be your punishment as well. Oh god, oh god, oh, 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 oh. pause, 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 pause. Okay, so you can see up here, everything has gone brown. We've run out of water, we've over pumped. So let's see if our plan works. So we lower that down and the water flows again. And yes, it rejuvenates the land. And this is the like most satisfying part of this game. Just watching the land become green again. And we'll get to it multiple times throughout the dry season now. <laughs> Sick. 
Oh, that is actually wicked. I'm so pleased I did that. That is how you engineer the dry season to not be a problem anymore. My only concern is how low the water level go up here. Like, where does the brown go to? Can you see now? This is now green down here. It's not water. Ideally, I like all this top level to stay green. Because then we can plant it. Oh, you can see it's shrinking back. Oh, it's not really sure where it's going. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's going all over the place. I think it's going to be, yeah, that's not going to be great for planting. And yeah, we might even need to, yeah, we might even need to lower those gates again. Although we've got quite a long time left for dry. So I might actually stop pumping all these. So we'll pause all of you guys and then we'll turn on our science jobs. So the seasonal science jobs are back. So I don't think we're building anything at the moment either. So maybe we'll pause the builder's hut and then more scientists, more scientists. But yeah, up here, we definitely need another lumberjack flag just so we can get the ones on this side. So I think we'll plonk this there. So they'll come and build that. I feel like it might be sensible as well. In water, we can unlock this. This is a depth marker. It's 150 science, but I think it will be useful now we've got our floodgates so we can open and close. So let's unlock that. I think if we put one down there, then we can just keep an eye on that depth. But nice. I'm glad we've sort of beaten the dry season. Like we can keep these pumping all the time now. We can always add more pumps there. We've got space to do it. But our water's fine. Food is also fine. Things are looking fantastic. All right, and Sevens is just finishing up building the depth marker. There you go. So we can click on that. So highest water level 0.23. And then we can see how that drops over time. I don't think it should drop now, but it will be a good test to see. Oh, it does. So there is evaporation. Or like maybe the, maybe the plants are using it up. I wasn't sure if it was just the water pumps that lowered the level, but you can see there it definitely is not the case. It does drop gradually over time. All right, so our lumberjack flag up here is completed. So that is Adam Bond. He'll be heading up there and, and logging the trees over this side. Now let's just check our water level again. Yeah, it's still dropping actually. Interesting. Over on our YouTube member side, water in this place is filled up. We don't have any storage yet, but I think I might pause that and get them on farming. Oh, we've actually had two births over here. Yeah, we also missed quite a few deaths and things. Oh, God. Blue Fire Wolf, Clueless Clown. Oh, not all the deaths are bad. Uh, John Garcia. <laughs> but yeah, rest in peace, you lovely beavers. Uh, right, it's another evening. People are sort of packing up for the night. Uh, but what I might try during the evening is I want to see, because the water level is going down all the time. It's on 0.2 now. I want to know if I drop this by a half. Does that completely ruin the water level or is it accurate to the actual level? Because you can see it's like completely covered in water. My aim is to sort of get some water flowing over the dam. There it is. There it is. So we replenish down here a bit. So I don't really want this to go brown down there. But doing that might make up here go brown as well. I've got to be careful. It's all a balancing act. It's all a learning act. But uh, it seems like the water has settled. So what are we on? 0.63 and it said it went up to 0.78. Now the water's flowing through, so I think it is sort of, I've sort of put it in the wrong place. I think the level is getting a bit, oh, you can actually see, is that what the red thing is? That's like the max water level. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, it's not, it's not too, I thought the water flowing on top of it might sort of make the reading inaccurate, but maybe not. Cool. Good to know. All right, it's another morning. Things are looking good. The logs are finally going up again, which is good to see. Oh, why have you planted birch in there, you pillocks? I thought we said plant maples everywhere. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh well. Right, nice. We've still got five days to last. That's quite a long time, actually. I sort of, I, I've been forgetting the drought's going to get longer and longer. So we need to be a little bit careful. But uh, to be honest, we got a thousand food. We got 1600 water. Like, this is, this is the most, like, prepared I've felt in this entire game. Sort of waiting for, like, something bad to happen, like a tornado to hit or something. Yeah, look at this. Dwight Schrute has grown up. What are you? You're a hauler. There he is, Dwight. Oh, Dwighty boy. I have a feeling one of the beavers might be playing tricks on you. They'll be hiding your beaver stapler in jelly or something. Anyway, science is going up really well. How much did the old bridge cost in the end? Did we work that out? So the big bridge was, oh, 3,200. That's loads. So I want to find an area where we can actually build a 12 span bridge. I think it's going to take some doing, but uh, oh well. All right, so nothing going on for now. I think we'll just fast forward through this dry season a bit. I don't think there's anything we need to sort of be aware of or worry about. Just other deaths as they happen. Although we have had a birth down at our YouTube member site. Jared Nolan has joined. So I think we can start upping the jobs, to be honest. So let's unpause the builder hut. Do we have any spare people? I don't think we do, actually. No, they're all just kids. I forgot it's Neverland over here. Damn, never... Oh. <laughs> I feel bad. They're all homeless. Look at them. 
got Hello and his, just just one year old and sleeping out in the rough. Valentine and James Lee, they're both 17, they can cope. Oh, there's loads of babies over here. We've got Boarhound, who's five. Tom Younger, one of the originals. Matty Patati. <laughs> and Jared Noland. Nice. I feel like I don't want to have too many more beers. I might pause them for now. Because uh, I do, I've now come up with a plan for my YouTube members. We're going to try and bring water back up to here. We're going to be trying out a water dump. Sod it. Shall we just, yeah, sod it. We're going to do it now. So we're going to unlock that. I'm going to literally just plonk it there. And then we'll build some sort of stair system to get up there. Yeah, but I think that's for next time. I think that's for next time. I'm focusing on focusing on the main area and the mega super dam. Oh wow, water level up here is dropping quite a bit, to be honest. What's it look like at the back of the... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It hasn't dropped too much down the back of the dam. And meanwhile, loads of people have grown up. Tales of Telos, Jonathan Kivers, Shatika, which means plenty new employees for when we get through the dry season. And meanwhile, I've noticed we've used up all of our planks, so I've shoved a few people. Like one in the engine. We got Kali Pavlovsky in there, creating some power. And uh, Logan Scrauf has gone in the lumber mill, so we will be getting some more planks now. Because uh, I think it's a good idea to stay stocked up on planks, because they do come in useful. Hey, boy. What are you doing, dog? What a good dog. What a good dog you are. Boy, oh, he's going upside down. He's upside down. Rub his belly. Oh, God. So I was just distracted by my dog, and it seems we've missed a load of deaths. It's quite nice. People seem to be dying, like, during their sleep. Apparently, Hexwind, he got 72. I uh, just died in the barracks, but so did Felia Earn and Sam Foltz. Uh, thankfully, there's a whole new generation coming through, so numbers, pretty good. Look, we got 69 adults. Nice. I also turned on another lumber mill. So in this one, we've got Jordan Tried, because uh, he tried to make planks. And that is all we ask of our beavers. Just, just try your best. All you'll do, you just try. So as long as that wheel keeps turning, Jordan, you don't have to fear for your beaver life. All right, so it's another beaver day. Oh, and sadly, Zalithi died of old age. But look, we got two new grown-ups. Happy hallways and... What? Right? Prioritize. We need to prioritize all of this. And just like that, we have seemed to have survived the dry season. Yes, the drought has ended. Oh, it should mean we can raise this back up to two and a half. And then we should see the water will fill that up. Shall we time-lapse that? That could be fun. Let's fast forward. All right, there it is. Oh, my... Goodness, look at the green back there. All right, there we go. We've got water flowing once again. We had a load of deaths again. Oh, so many deaths. We're down to just 66 adults. Damn. So, Sucroed, William, Peregrine, Samuel Valdez, Jack Jackie, Yunru, Mathis Van Dyke, and Adam Bond. They all died. Oh, God. <laughs> So that's, that's not great, that. But uh, at least Sandax grew up, and they are now a farmer. First things first, we're going to be punishing Bridges Suck. Uh, but we need to create a lot more planks for that. So I think we'll turn on this lumber mill. And Bob the Builder's gone in there. So we should have a load of planks ready for next time, ready to punish that horrible, horrible Patreon. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm just really happy that my thing... Oh god, did it work? What have I done? Why, Why is it so flooded back here? <laughs> Does that need to come down a bit more? It's on two and a half. I thought two and a half was normal. All right, we'll lower it to two. I thought two and a half was enough. Oh God, there's so much water. <laughs> Look, these beavers are all getting wet. That bridge is like, it's an underwater bridge now. It makes no sense. Uh, we can turn these pumps back on. We can pour some science. The big bridge is going to have to wait till next time. But yeah, anyway, guys, I'll try and fix this next time. Peace, love, and flooded super mega dams. <laughs> Why is there so much water? <laughs>